Okay, let's do this thing. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of English Nook to Haju. Alexia, what are we talking about today? We are talking about a movie that we watch on Netflix that I think that everyone should watch it as well. Okay, that is the theme of this week. Movies. So what movie are we talking about today, Alexia? Good Will Hunting. Good Will Hunting. Yes. So this was a movie that I recommended. Yes. And in general, you know that if I recommend a movie, it's going to be good. Yes. <laughs> really? You think so? No. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I feel like... <laughs> I'm kidding. No, usually when you recommend something, it's because it's either very good or it has to do a lot with you. Yeah. Yeah, in general, I do not make too many recommendations with movies, TV shows, that kind of thing. I feel like, especially with you, if I recommend a movie or a show or something, any piece of content, normally it's because I think you need to watch it because it explains some deeper truth about the way that I'm behaving <laughs> And I think it will be beneficial for our relationship <laughs> because I really relate to a character or something like that. But in this case, I was recommend recommending this movie to you and your dad so you know it's got to be good. Yeah. So I wrote about it for the Friday freebies mm -hmm. people. Which everyone should get on the Friday freebie list. As of late, Alexia has been in charge of this, so we are sending out free stuff, all the cool things that we are doing, the behind the scenes of English No Crew. If you want to get on that, just go to EnglishNoCrew.com. And sign up. That's it. Yeah. Sorry for the marketing. Okay, Alexia, <laughs> explain to me. You know about this movie. You've already written about it. What's the movie about? Without spoilers. Just oh. a general synopsis. It's about a boy. From South Boston. Southie. Southie. Boston. <laughs> Boston, get a cup of coffee. How do they say eggs? Eggs? Mm, I don't know if they say this in Boston. You're confusing two different things. Okay, but either way... In the eggs. Midwest, eggs. they tend to use a diphthong, or what we call here at English Crew, a moving vowel for the word eggs. Yeah. So when I say eggs, I'm just saying eh, eh, eggs. But some people in the Midwest, like in Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan, maybe Ohio, a lot of people say eggs. 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 <laughs> like, hey, I, give me some eggs. It's so weird. But that's a, that's a cool thing to know as well. Yeah, it's a cool thing. It's a lovely accent. I love the Midwestern accent. Yeah, so it's about a boy from South Boston, and he comes from a very troubled family. Yeah, troubled he, past, to say the least, yeah. Yeah, and he is Matt Damon. <laughs> This boy is Matt Damon. Yeah. And in fact, he is a boy during the movie because this... I believe was his first movie, or at least the first movie of any kind of fame that Matt Damon and Ben Affleck wrote together. Yeah, they wrote, and they didn't direct, right? No, they just wrote together. Yeah, they wrote the script. Yeah, and the script is about, like, this boy, which is extremely smart in every single way. and He's he, a genius. Yeah. I think we would say he's a savant. A what? Savant. Do you know that word? No. That's why I'm looking at you like that. <laughs> I don't know for sure, but I imagine the etymology of this word comes from French because it sounds like a French word, savant. But a savant is someone that is unusually smart, has an unusually great memory and capacity to learn things. Normally, we talk about savants with like people that might have some other disability, like a lot of people with autism that can memorize like a crazy amount of numbers or something. People that have some sort of genius, they're savants. Yeah, so he never... Just really quick, Alexia. 
would you consider me to be a savant? Like really stupid in most areas of my life, but kind of, of brilliant. Of course, amor. Of course. Not, not a, <laughs> not really a compliment in this situation. <laughs> so he comes from a troubled past, and he has to find his way in life, right? So, but he always loved to study and to learn things, and like the movie shows that he's always like reading a bunch of books. And he is working at a university. Yes, as a janitor. As a janitor. And then he meets this... I'm not going to tell everything like yeah. how. And, but, and then he meets this teacher, uh, math, ma maths. You don't say maths, right? Math. math a yeah. math teacher or math. a math professor in this case. A math professor. Yeah, maths would be British English. A math professor. Who discovers... <laughs> discovers... Droga! Who disco discovers... Okay, can you explain to me the problem that you have with this word? The O! Maldito O! O! Discovers... That's exactly the problem, Alexia. You, you say, maldito O! <laughs> it's not at O, at O. Uh. There's no O in the word discover. Yes, we write this word with an O. But it's not. It's the schwa sound. This is uh, uh. So don't try to make a circle with your lips. Don't think about the O sound. There is no O. There's no ah. Uh. There's just an uh. Discovers. Discovers onions. Discover onions. Discover onions. Yes. Okay. So Matt Damon is discovered by a professor, and then his life changes a lot. Yeah. I think that's a good summary without giving too much away yeah but what i like about this movie the most is his title okay do you want to explain no i was hoping that you could are you talking about the title of the name of the movie yeah yeah so good will hunting so matt damon's character in this movie is will hunting that is his name first name is will last name is hunting good will is This is a play on words, right? Goodwill is boa bondade, mm -hmm. right? So There is a huge chain in the United States with Goodwill. Yes, there is a donation store, a charitable organization that gives clothes to people in need called Goodwill. So Goodwill is you really have a desire to do good things and then hunting, caçando. He's literally chasing goodwill, mm -hmm. and that's kind of what the movie is all about. Yeah. So, very clever title. So, you can find it on Netflix. It's amazing, and it has one of my favorite actors from all the times, Robin Williams. Yeah, I would say one of my favorite actors of all time. Of all time. Yeah. Yeah, so Robin Williams, definitely my favorite thing about this movie. So Robin Williams plays a professor, but he's also Will Hunting's psychologist. And he gives one of the best speeches, a monologue to Will Hunting, just saying that you're a young boy. You don't know anything <laughs> about love. You've never smelled the roof of the Sistine Chapel. <laughs> and it's gorgeous. Yeah, so the movie is super well made. The scenes, you can see that most of them Not most of them, but a, a few of them were made in one take only. Yeah. Beautiful dialogues. A lot of dialogue. And also, most of this movie takes place in Boston. And most of the characters are from South Boston. So they have the traditional Boston accent, which means they are changing a lot of vowel sounds, making them more open. So you're going to hear a lot of... Hey, I'm from Boston. Let's get a <laughs> cup of coffee. Don't call the cops. <laughs> so it's a great movie to really train your English. Think more creatively about different dialogues and really push yourself outside of your comfort zone with your English, don't you think? I do. Cool. Anything else you want to say about the movie? No, I'm fine. Go watch it. Netflix. 
Netflix yeah. not paying us. They should, but <laughs> I don't think English no crew has reached that level yet. But maybe one day. One day. Anyway, this is my recommendation. So if you don't like it, that's on me. <laughs> but I think you'll like it. Okay, so okay. I'll talk to you soon. Have a good one. Bye. <laughs>